Over the next couple of days, we are going to be facing near record setting or record setting heat. Let's take a look at the records and see how close we're going to be. On Wednesday, the record warm low is 74, and that's the forecast low. So we could uh, tie or even beat that. The high on Wednesday, the record is 98 set back in 1947. I'm forecasting a high of 99. So if that verifies, we'll have a record. On Thursday, the record warm low is also is 77 degrees, and that's uh, what I'm uh, forecasting. The record high, we might not quite get there, but we're going to be close with a forecast high of 96 compared to a record high of 98 degrees. It's just not southern Wisconsin, central Wisconsin on Wednesday under an excess of heat warning. If you really want to get away from the heat, you can. You can travel to the north, far northern Wisconsin, and the UP are going to miss uh, that really hot weather. Quite a temperature contrast over the state right now. 76 in Milwaukee and the 60s in the Upper Peninsula. Compare that to upper 80s to low 90s, 92 in Prairie du Chien. And check out Minneapolis, 98 degrees and when you factor in the humidity this is what it feels like and the heat index is uh, in the 90s for most of south central Wisconsin close to 100 degrees in the southwest corner Minneapolis 114 degrees that's a hint of things to come for us tomorrow you can see this huge hot and humid air mass with heat indices above 110 degrees uh, from Minnesota and South Dakota going well down to our south and here's the forecast for tomorrow this heat shifts off to the east and it'll be our turn to experience triple digit heat uh, heat indices maybe as high as 110. So that has prompted this uh, heat warning in effect, this excess of heat warning covering most of Wisconsin and much of the nation's midsection will have to deal with this heat. It's an upper air high pressure system that is the reason we call it a heat dome and under these highs it's just dry and it's hot and that heat dome which had been across the south through most of the summer has migrated northward close enough to get us into this extreme heat. But there's uh, a relief in sight. This upper air high is going to drop down to the south and by Sunday it'll be well to our south and far enough away to get us into a northwesterly flow and that's going to allow some milder air to come down from Canada. In the meantime though, excess of heat warning effect for all of southern Wisconsin and our entire viewing area. It's from 10 a.m. until 9 p.m. on Wednesday. There's an excess of heat watch in effect for Thursday, but I expect that to be upgraded to an excess of heat warning as well. Temperatures overnight won't drop very much. It'll only reach into the 70s. Tomorrow, there we are, upper 90s to right around 100 degrees. As we head into Thursday, we start off warm in the 70s and we still are in the 90s. It's still going to be a hot one on Wednesday. And in terms of the heat index, right around 110, 112 degrees in the afternoon. Still well above 100 degrees on Thursday. But the air temperature by Thursday, by Friday rather, will be uh, topping off in the 80s. And that'll be followed by 70s on Saturday. So the relief won't be too far away. But for tonight, mostly clear skies, warm and humid, low down to 74. Tomorrow, very hot and humid with hazy sunshine. Breezy conditions, high 99. Heat index, 106 to about 112. Wind gusts could be as high as 25. After that, still hot Thursday, Friday, will be a bit cooler with a high in the 80s. There's your weekend highs in the mid 70s. That's going to feel almost cool in comparison and we'll keep temperatures uh, close to normal as we go into early next week. So glad mm. this is short lived. I know. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one good thing about this. Just a couple of days. All right. Thanks, All right. Bob. We're going to get through it. We'll do it. We'll get through it together. <laughs>